What's up guys? It is Friday. I'm Katie and I apologize for the really late recording and upload of this video. Um, I've been super anxious about this topic. Um, <sighs> uh, before I get started, this is your trigger warning. A lot of the stuff I'm going to talk about um, might not seem that extreme to you, um, might seem more extreme than you thought it would be, but I want to let you know that there's going to be stuff I talk about that you might not want to hear, so if you need to, please exit this video now, um, for I don't want to upset anybody with what I'm about to say. Um, I struggled for a really long time. Um, with hurting myself and not wanting to exist and thinking that there wasn't any sort of positive in the world um, I used to cut myself And I used to get so bad that my parents were informed by school as a as a middle schooler they were informed by my 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 teachers and my principals that something was wrong with me and that I needed to seek psychiatric psychiatric help because I was going to hurt myself or I was going to do something really bad. Um, it wasn't my brightest time in life, and there have been quite a few more times after that where um, I felt myself slipping back into the place that I was in. And it's it's not fun to to feel yourself sliding backwards when you've gained when you've had progress or. You feel like you've gained progress. Um, my parents split up at a really young age, and my dad was never around. And he did a bunch of shady shit behind my back and behind my my mom's back, and you know, acted like he didn't want us. So my, as a kid, you know, my automatic assumption was assumed that I did. I did something wrong and that it was my fault. And then, you know, having that on top of knowing my whole life that I was different and having to come to terms with my sexuality, like, God, I hated myself for that. I hated myself for, for being gay or for liking girls or, you know, whatever it was. I, I tried to be normal as normal as I could be and it's just like my my biggest fear was how my parents were going to react and you know what if what if they didn't love me anymore and I got some really bad reactions after I came out and you know it only succeeded in setting me back even farther um and then you know I got into high school junior senior year and I I just started losing people left and right and, you know, family, friends, best friends, aunts, uncles, you know, I had to watch my grandma pass away. I was the only person with her and that took a heavy toll on my heart. And, um, to me it all seems so stupid and mediocre now, to an extent that I would let life get to me and want to fuck me up that badly. You know, like I hated myself. Um, I didn't like the person I was. I didn't think I was going to like the person I was becoming. I, In those moments I thought that like Everything that was happening in the world, I was the only person it was happening to, so why was I going to burden others with everything that was going on in my life? 
you know, like I, you know, high school came around and I found my release through drinking and I had to stop that. You know, I got to a certain point in time where I sat back and I realized I didn't make it this far for nothing, so why am I trying to sabotage myself again? Because I was good for a while and then things started to spiral quicker and I got into my drinking and it's like, you know, alcoholism runs in my family. People have died from it. Like, why am I going to do that to myself? And I think getting older and growing up and seeing everything in a different light, I realized I realized that the only thing that was setting me back was the fact that I kept dwelling on the past. And, you know, I'm sure you've seen that quote around Tumblr and it goes, I woke up and realized that I couldn't touch yesterday, so why the heck was I letting it touch me? And that's exactly, exactly what I think about it now, you know, like I hate talking about this and I hate having to like rehash it, but Like, bad things happen in life, and it, 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 like, God, it makes you worse, and it tears you down, but the only way you can be better is if you pick yourself back up and realize that the only thing you can do is move forward. You know, what happened, what happened, happened, and it's in the past, and, like, God, there's so many things I wish I could go back and I could change, but I can't. So, you know, why am I letting it affect me to this extent? Because life's all about bettering yourself and, and living every day to the fullest. And you're not going to be living it to the fullest if you're sitting there trying to rehash all the bad things that have happened in your life. Because there are things like, I don't know what any of you guys have been through. And I don't know if any sort of anything I'm talking about you can relate to but I've been through hell and back you know there's some things I'm not even telling you guys I'm not even going into full detail about but you know I, re I realized that it's just it's not worth it to sit there and beat yourself up every day for something that you can't change and the only thing you can do is move forward and live your life and realize that you are worth something you know you're worth existing in the world you're worth your kindness in your soul you're worth your laughter everything that you are is worth it so why are you why are you going to sit there and let the world take you down when it it's not that way at all? Bad things happen to good people. And it sucks. But I got through it. You know, I'm still going day by day, but like I've never been happier with my life once I realized that I couldn't change what happened in the past. I can't change that, but I'm happier now because I realize that I can only take life day by day. I can't, I can't go backwards. I'm not even gonna look there anymore. I can't, I can't do it to myself anymore. And neither should you, if you ever feel the way that I felt or if you felt worse, because you're worth it. And it's cheesy, but it gets better. So, if you ever feel the need to talk, or if you need somebody to listen to you, or if you want to vent, my Tumblr is always open. I will leave that down below. Um, I don't know if much, much of what I said made sense, but I, I hope that it did it to some extent. Um, thanks for listening to my rant, guys. Appreciate it.